code. In this video, we're going to tackle the read code problem, reverse bits. Our goal is to reverse the bits of a given 32 bits and sign integer. So understanding how to manipulate bits directly is crucial for coding interviews and system programming. Let's dive in. So reverse bits of a given 32 bits unsigned integer. So what they would be giving us is a 32 bits unsigned integer. We just need to reverse the bits. So here the given example is this is just a binary representation of the number, uh, which is this one. This is unsigned integer. So we need to return uh, this one, this number, which is just a binary representation of the reflection. Let's say it's not a reflection, it's a reverse bits. So uh, what I meant by reflection is just like if we keep uh, this is the uh, input bit binary representation, right? So if we just keep a mirror of it, so this is what the reverse bits would look like, right? Like this is the uh, reverse bits. This is just a mirror reflection of this one. So that's what I meant by mirror, just for uh, explanation purpose, but not actually meant it. You just need to reverse the bits, that's all at the end. So here, example two also, we see that this is the uh, given number in a binary representation. So we just need to reverse the bits and give it. So it's just if we place the mirror here, we get this output. So, so here, uh, constraints is like input number must be a binary string of length 32. Okay, let's look into the approach. Bit by bit approach. This approach involves iterating to the each of the bit of the input number, extracting each bit of the each position and placing it in the correct position of the result number. So this is just like taking a mirror reflection. That's what I meant by mirror there. So, so algorithm starts like this. So first we try to the each bit from the position of 0 to 31, since we have totally 32 bits. So here extract the bit at the current position uh, using the uh, for expression it's like for right shifting the bit at the nth position or ith position uh, to i times and we are uh, doing a bitwise and with one so we just extract that bit alone and then we shift this extracted bit to the reverse position using the expression uh, just like we're doing the left shift here so left shift of like basically the complement of that right if it is a uh, zeroth bit we have to shift the bit zeroth bit by 31 times so that's what we're doing it like we're just doing a left shift uh, of 31 minus i times so and then accumulate the shifted bit to the result this i'll show you how to do that and then we need to just repeat the steps from 2 to 4 for all the 32 bit positions so and then return the result as a reverse bit of the input number so let's look into the algorithm what adjustment is so we just start with the whatever number we have and then uh, we just iterate from 0 to 31 uh, because we have 32 bits so 32 positions so that's starting from 0 to 31 and then uh, here we just extract uh, each bit at ith position using this one and then we just go to the we just take the extracted bit here uh, and then we just uh, do the left, left shifting with 31 minus i times so what i meant is like when we take the zero we just left shift by 31 times when we take the one we just left shift by 32 times when we take the one, we just left shift by 30 times. So that essentially means that just reversing the order, that's all. So here and then we accumulate the shifted bit to the result. And then if it is end of the loop, what is the condition here if it crosses 31? So this is not the end of the loop, then we continue. Else, we return the result. So let's look into the code here. So here we just started with initializing the result and then we just iterating to the 0 to 31 range using this one. Uh, 32 is like, since like n plus one we take uh, because like uh, this is the exclusive range. So that's why like last number won't count. That's why we looping till 32, which means that we inclusive range is 0 to 31 only. So here we just extracting the bit at the side position using this one, this expression we just discussed. And then we just appending the um, result to the extracted set using the result with uh, or with this is a bitwise or, or with uh, shifting the bit to the 31 minus i times this is bas basically with this formula we're just appending the result to the uh, our result variable here and then uh, here uh, retaining the time complexity the time complexity is considered as a constant since the loop runs fixed number of 32 times regardless of the input size so the space complex is o of one here so this approach is a fixed amount of space. It doesn't require any additional space that goes with the input size. So let's look into the diagram here. Let's take the given example here. So we have this like initially result initialized to zero and then in iteration one, i is equal to zero. So we just extract the bit at the i position using this one and greater than zero, zero. Uh, so that is just basically uh, doing the right shift of with zero times. Uh, so it would be nothing shifted and then we're doing the one. So we zero and one is zero, right? So we get the zero here and then we just append this to our result 
zero since result is uh, initialized with zero we just zero r and then we just do the uh, left shift that many times one that is 31 minus zero here 31 times we're doing the left shift and then we get the result is zero because zero or zero is zero right and then even we shift this to 31 times it's still a zero right so that's how we get zero here in the iteration two we get uh, i is equals to one we just extract uh, uh, i to bit using this one basically we are right shifting by one and, and then doing the bitwise and with one and then it, here the bit is like we just it just uh, right shifted right so zero and one is zero and then we just append into zero here same zero or zero is zero here in iteration three we have i is equals to two so when we do right shift by two times what we get is this is the bit right so here when we uh, we do i shift by two times and then we get one here so and then uh, we have one and one which is one here yeah and then we are appending this to the result so zero or uh, one which is i shifted for 31 minus two times that is 29 times and then we get this one in binary representation right so uh, basically iteration four we have i equals to three similarly we extract here for i equals to three what we have is here also we have one when we right shift by three times we get one one and one is one uh, so that's how we got one we just appending this to the result by doing the uh, reversing the bits here in the step and we get this so in iteration 31 uh, we have i is equal to 30 uh, so we just doing the same thing here uh, we just right shifting uh, 30 times and then we extracting the bit there that is lsp would be the bit there and then we just uh, doing 0 and 1 is 0 here and similarly we are getting the result here uh, iteration 32 which is a loss iteration uh, so here i is equal to 31 31 times and then doing bitwise and with 1 and then we get like 0 and 1 which is 0 and then we append the result to the result variable and finally we return our result which is this one uh, when representation in numerical format demo and conclusion so i got the code ready here uh, let's try submitting this so as you see here the code is accepted so conclusion so reversing the bits with bit by bit approach demonstrates the power and elegance of bit manipulation techniques this method is not only intuitive but also efficient running in a constant time and space complexity mastering such bitwise operations is essential for uh, solving low level manipulation and bit masking problems often encountered in technical interviews remember the key to excelling in the coding challenges is practice and understanding the underlying principles so keep coding keep learning and you will continue to improve day by day Thank you for tuning into the episode of Hack Code. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more code tutorials and thousands of attacks. If you have any questions or suggestions for future topics, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Until next time, happy coding.